The 1927 FA Cup final win was huge for Cardiff City Football Club. Uh, it was huge for the city of Cardiff too. Um, it put Welsh football on the map and um, it was actually the dawn of quite a golden era as far as Welsh football was concerned internationally. Um, sadly for Cardiff City, um, they didn't perhaps kick on as much as they would have liked through the 1930s, but the 1927 win, as I say, absolutely marked them out as one of the big teams of the time. Um, they were a team of, of all stars because players were drawn from England, Scotland, Northern Ireland, Wales, um, and they represented Wales very much though. It was, it was about Cardiff, but it was about Wales too, and it gave Wales a sporting identity, and, and that was something which I think was the, the value was incalculable. And what was the homecoming like in 1927 when Fred Keener and the boys came back to Cardiff with the cup? Well, as, as you would expect, the, the city went absolutely mad. Um, there had been thousands and thousands of people listening to the final in Cate's Park um, because on the day of the final, the, uh, the council had slung up some speakers in the, uh, in the park there and thousands of people came for that. So, of course, it was when, when the, the, the cup was won and uh, the team returned home, everybody turned out from the station and all the way through the city to, to salute the team. And it was just a great time for a party. And as I said, it, it was something really which just banished away all the blues of, of you know, the immediate post-First World War sort of, you know, dilemma of, of you know, where people are going to find work and so on. Life was hard, but here was something that people could really celebrate. Well, we're pretty lucky that uh, I've, I've put together quite a large collection of items over the last 30 years or more, but I'm very conscious that there's going to be still plenty of stuff that's there, probably either in people's attics or, or in their bottom drawers. It could be lapel badges, it might be match programmes, tickets, um, old copies of the Echo or the Western Mail. Um, very often people sort of in back in the day actually made their own rosettes to, to pin on their lapels. And of course, because it was a special day and Cardiff won, a lot of these items people will have kept they'll have become family heirlooms and we'd really really like to hear from anybody in Cardiff and South Wales who may have items that they would be willing to loan to us for either a part of the exhibition or for the whole duration because uh, I'm glad to say it's going to be on for six months at the uh, uh, old library in the centre of Cardiff but yeah we really really want the help of local people.